what is up guys, Jake on Metallic Design here, bringing you um, a new video, obviously, but uh, this time it's going to be a bit different. Most of the time I have nothing to do with Cinema 4D, but uh, lately, people that have, uh, well, people that have been um, buying some stuff off me want 3D text. So I had to come into Cinema 4D and do some work on it, and basically I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to make nice looking 3D text in Cinema 4D then taking it into Photoshop and doing a lot a lot of work with it so pretty much what you need first is Cinema 4D I've got R13 which is what I know of is the uh, latest version so go look up some cracks some free versions of this because I sure as hell won't pay for things like this if I don't have the money so go get that come back to this video Let's watch it. And then, so what I'm going to show you guys first is how to make 3D text, like I said before. And this is probably going to be two parts. One part's going to be in Cinema 4D, and one part is going to be in the Photoshop. So I'll try and keep this under 15 minutes. So what you're going to do first is get your text, pretty much. So you come over to MoGraph and then Mo Text, and this is for R13 as well. So I really consider getting this, or not consider. Um, I don't even know what I was trying to think of then, but I'm just going to write in tutorial, and then I'm going to have that selected, Have make sure you have the move tool selected and that top that top uh, square there with the orange around it, and I'm just going to move this and put it just there. So I'm going to click on Mode Text and it comes up with Object, and it says Font there, so I'm just going to click on that, and I'm going to try and pick a nice looking font if this ever wants to come up. Ah, Alright, come on mate. So I'm just going to look for a nice clean text which will be really easy to edit with and stuff. Alright, I'm going to put all capitals in it, just since it makes like the text pretty much all the same size. Makes it a bit easier for myself. So I'm just going to put that in the middle. Put it about there. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on this uh, far right thing here. There's three things in there, the one that renders it, so you can just see what it looks like. The one that actually renders it to a file and the far right one where you get to change the settings. So I'm going to put the width, I'm going to put that to 1920 and the height is going to be 1080. And then I'm going to click on save, change the format to PNG and then select alpha channel. That just makes the background transparent when you render it and don't worry about any of those things yet. So as you can see there it made the whole screen a bit better. And I just need to walk around with these things again. Alright, so there we go. So since I've got my text there, I'm just going to click on this square here. And just drag that down and make it a bit smaller. Just trying to get this in the middle. Alright, so once I have that centered like that pretty much, what I'm going to do is have this text here, which will be small, and then another text in the background, which will be a bit uh, bigger, and it's going to be black just so it gives more definition to the front text here. So I'm going to, firstly I'm going to get a camera. So for most Cinema 4Ds, you have to click on a light, and then it says camera, but on R13 they fixed it up, and you just click to get to click on this camera here. So I'm just going to... All you need to do is hit that white, that far right box there, so it stays in the same spot. And then what you're going to want to do is unclick it so it's not white like that. And then so you can just move everything around. And then look what happens when you do this: you click on the white camera again, and it just puts it straight back to where it was. So this is really useful for myself. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep it like that for a bit. So I'm going to try and put this right on the edge. This saves me from clicking on these things here and doing all that kind of work. So Yes, what I'm going to do is 
copy the Motex that I have and I'm going to change the depth to 200 Change, click, click on caps, go fill it, select, make them both fillet caps put the radius to about 2 on both of them and then that should be alright there now what I'm going to do on the front text, I'm going to change the depth to 10 put it both from fillet caps and then put it to 0 0.5 So if I zoom in here, just going to try and find that text there. I'm just going to push it just there so you can kind of see it pushed out the edge. Click on the camera. And I'm just going to select both of these texts here so I can... It doesn't look center. So I'm going to, on the bottom left here, this is where all your materials are. Um, I'm going to make my own materials here so I'm going to double click and double click again just to bring up two materials, one's going to be for the front and one's going to be for the back. So I'm going to double click on this far right one here, click on the color and put it down to a dark grey, mostly black. Click on luminance and then here's the bar so you can just dry, uh, drag it down to about 15. Just gives it a bit of brightness and I'm going to click on reflection and put the brightness for that down to about 10. I'm just going to put the blurriness up to about 20. There's one more thing I want to do, but I can't remember. Yes, click on specular color and then change that to. I'm going to change it to a dark blue actually. So I'm just going to, on the slider up here, I'm just going to change that and put it to a dark blue. And I'm just going to drag that onto the back text. That one on both. So. I'm just going to want to drag it up onto that black text there, onto the back text, sorry. And I'm going to delete that white material, I don't even know why I made that. So I'm going to click on the black material down here, Control C, Control V, just to copy and paste it. And on the left one here, I'm just going to change the color to, I'm just going to change it to a limey green. And with the luminance, I'm just going to leave that everything as it is, except with the specular color. I'm going to change that to a white, and that should be all good. So I'm just going to drag that onto the front text. I'm just going to check how it looks. So that looks alright there at the moment. But what I don't have is lights. I have no lights and nothing like that. So I'm just going to throw a few of them together. And how we do all the time? It's alright. Alright, so. Going to unclick on the camera here so it just goes like I said before. And I'm going to make, I'm going to put some lights around the text and place them as well as I can to give the best effects for the text. So, firstly, I'm going to select a floor and it should have something a little like this. So, I'm just going to put it just so you can't see it when the camera is visible. So that's good there. I'm going to copy it via Control C, Control V, and then I'm just going to come over to this. I don't even know what it's called, the Rotate tool. And I'm just going to rotate this up just a little bit. See, that'll be alright if it's there, um, because that's the only part that you need. Doesn't matter about the stuff that's being rendered down there. So I'm just going to move it like that a bit. That's all good. So now I'm going to select the light. And I'm just going to put the light. I'm going to put about three or four lights around here. And you want it to be pretty much in front of the text. If you don't know how I'm moving around like this, you go up to the top right hand corner here and there's a move tool and there is this tool here that zooms everything in. And this one here that pretty much just rotates everything around. But um, this is tripping me out right now. Alright, so with the light, you're going to want to put one right under the text, just a little bit in front, probably about there, I don't know what's going on with this. So you're just going to put one right about there, and all the way to where it was when you first got it. So, there's one there, we're going to check how it looks right now. And that's looking good, but I don't know why. Alright. 
disregard everything I said about the floors, that was a waste of time. Um, what we needed was planes. So come, come over to the uh, square, the cube, and then select plane. And we're going to do the same thing what, that we've done with the floors, but just with a plane. I don't know what the difference is, but whatever. Um, so we're just going to drag this down here. Click on it, uh, select it there, and then go to width and put that to 5000. And then do the same with the other one. I'm just going to put it down here. Do what I've done as well before, and then just rotate that up a bit. Alright, so there we go, that should be alright. Yeah, that's all good. Alright, so I'm going to want to put the light above the plane, obviously. And then I'm going to on, uh, select the light, and I'm going to change the color of the light to that color that I have for the text. So, let's see how that turns out. Alright, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to put it a bit, like, the same color that I have for the text, I'm going to use that, but I'm going to put it a bit lighter. Now I'm going to change the type to area. Unclick the camera, and then I'm just going to rotate this up, just so it's pointing at the text like that. I'm going to select the camera again. I'm going to copy this light here, twice, and I'm just going to put one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. I'm just going to rotate them in a little bit. So hopefully that's looking alright. Yep, I reckon that's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to want to do now is put just a couple of lights up the top. And I know people like miles and error and stuff, they use like all these soft boxes, but I'm not that advanced, so I'm going to be doing this weird shit. So I'm going to have um, a spotlight. I'm going to unclick the camera. I'm just going to try and figure out where I'm going to put this. And I might actually rotate it so it's like facing down, kind of, so it's facing down the text. And I'm just going to move it up like that. Just so that it gets a little bit of the effects going down like that. And for the these lights here, I'm just trying to put them all together. Might actually turn the intensity down on all of them to 50. So it's not too harsh. Oh, so that's five. All right, so we're going to check that. And that's looking pretty decent for the amount of time that we've spent on this. And um, on the black, on the black material. Double click on it again, so we're going to change the setting here. On luminance, I'm just going to change the color to black. Since it did look a bit too light. So that's looking pretty decent. And with this um, this light here that I have, it's going to duplicate that twice as well. And I'm just going to pretty much do the same thing that I had done. So... I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm going to, like I said, copy that twice. Control C, just copy the camera. Um, yep, Control C, Control V, twice, and then I'm just going to do it like that. So let's check this out. Alright, that's looking really nice in my opinion. I'm just gonna change this one more time. Let's check this out. Alright, and that's looking pretty nice. So that's taken 14 minutes to do. I'm gonna save this for you guys and I'm gonna put a link in the description at 25 likes for this pack. And um Hopefully you guys stick around for part two. I'm just gonna save this. See if it detarped. All 
Alright, so hopefully you guys come check out part two, which will be uh, me showing you how to finish off these render settings and how to pretty much um, do all the Photoshop work, which makes it look a lot better than it does now. So stick around for that, guys. If you enjoyed this, please like the video. It does help me out a lot more than you understand, and I would I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.